Um, the lengths that one Sydney man went to in order to pop the questions. Okay, let's head back into the chat room with Nines, Joe Hall and Wendy Kingston. And we'll go out with a bang, ladies, with this one. A Sydney man has gone to extravagant lengths to propose to his girlfriend. The 28-year-old's lavish proposal included a yacht, a fairy-lit dinner cooked by a private chef and a fireworks display costing <laughs> a jaw-dropping $14,000. And that doesn't include the ring. <laughs> Wendy, I'm sure it's, you know, all lovely for her, but I just can't help thinking what a waste of money no Belinda oh. the romance the romance oh. is you only propose once in your lifetime and look you're completely opposite to how I was proposed to <laughs> but if someone did that I mean this guy scrapbooked a man scrapbooking 10 points to you I think it's brilliant go nuts go nuts and she said yes I I'm assuming so yes. as if you would so just thankfully, as well, well. thankfully. <laughs> yeah, thankfully but, but I don't know, know. You, you just think about when you know now when you've got a mortgage and children and all those things even when I think back to what we spent on our wedding which wasn't you know a huge amount but I sort of go oh that money would be nice now mm. oh gosh yeah. yeah don't you think Joe? I mean you've got to wonder what do you think about that well, look, apparently the wedding is going to be just as lavish. Like, there are 350 invited guests. Well, I, I don't agree with you, Wendy. I just think whatever happened to the simplicity and romance of that little candlelight dinner or the walk down the beach, um, you know, and, yeah, as you say, Belinda, the money could be way better spent on a deposit on a house. I'm being practical here. We, we are being, being so very practical. practical. I'm being romantic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got uh, one romantic and two practical women here. Anyway, ladies, it's been lovely to have you. Thank you for your input. We'll see you next time. See you later. And coming up next is the afternoon news.